Hi, I'm Vasilios Christofilakos, the chairman of the Accessories Design Department here at the Fashion Institute of Technology. We're going to see Charlotte Batten, our senior adjunct footwear instructor, demonstrating the sole application to the shoe. Right now, she's holding our cement. It's a barge rubber cement, and right next to it, the yellow can is a Petronios. Keep in mind that barge and Petronios are brand names and our industry standards, and we follow that. They've both been approved by our health and safety director here at FIT and OSHA. So the first type of cement we use is the new toluene-free barge rubber cement, which doesn't have an extreme tack to it. We use it for draping the last. Petronios is recommended for soling. Keep in mind that you must have a very well-ventilated area when you're doing this. Our rooms are equipped with fans that are constantly running when the cementing takes place to so make sure that your tabletop has covered with newspaper. We're going to notice Charlotte cementing the bottom of the sole. Notice the quick back and forth strokes that you're applying to the bottom of the already scuffed area of the leather. So you want to make sure that you've sanded it. You want to rough it up so that then the cement can adhere to it and then of course the sole is going to adhere to it. Notice the quick strokes and the reason why you're doing this very quickly and neatly is you don't want the fumes escaping from the jar and hence this is why we have the ventilation. The same back and forth stroke on a leather sole. You want to let them both sit for a couple of minutes. You would never want to stick them together while they're wet. This is the type of cement that has to dry a little bit to the touch. Then you're ready to actually attach the two together. You also want to have the hammer. This is a shoe hammer. It has a round head which allows for the molding of the sole as we'll see momentarily. It also has a narrow bar in the back. It's easier to control. Speed up the drying process a little bit and you want to air dry it. Charlotte's about to pick up the sole and she's going to start attaching it using toe to toe. Did you notice her hands, how they were placed at around the outer edges and she started to mold it a little bit? Notice the uh, round head part of the hammer, how she's hammering it into place. Whereas a traditional hammer would, uh, would actually, I think, crack the sole. Because this is rounded, it's a softer uh, touch to the, to the leather. And notice her hand, how she's holding it from the top and the bottom, and how the hand which touches the bottom of the sole actually moves along with that shape. Notice her fingers. She's pressing up against the outer edges of the shoe and the sole itself, and we have our sole. And once you've trimmed away all the access, that's when you place the heel in its proper position. The shoe is taken to the finishing station. Finishing station is where you either edge dye, you burnish your edge, or whatever type of finishing technique that's to be done to your shoe is done there. I mean, no one said that shoemaking was easy. It's definitely a craft and an art.